Water, water. Yeah. It be the turtle dad. 40 burrito, the corridor home, future home, set up. Uh, we have the carob sea natural sand or whatever, um, and the eco complete in here. Uh, got a 150 watt heater and a sponge filter that's rated for 125 gallons. 125 gallons, people. This should be good. It has been up for less than a week. Um, I'm trying to get a temperature to raise. It's sitting at a steady 76.5. Um, we just planted. Let's see if I can get these. Uh, I saved the tags. So, we have planted a generic Amazon sword, which is in the back. There behind that plant, which is an Asian fawn. Uh, it's the little of the forms. And we have a crypto corn, which is right there up front. It's got more of a reddish color to it. I like it. And then we got two of these. Yeah. Two of these. I do believe it's two of these. Is it two of these? Yeah. Two of these, which are the biggest plants in here. They actually reach and extend out of the tank, uh, yeah, which is also a type of Amazon sword, and then we got two melon swords, we got two in one package, which is good, um, they're on either side of the Asian phone there, one's right there, and one's right there, they're kind of small, um, at the moment I just got a regular LED light, uh, we, we just added Fatty McFat Fats. Our, I think it was one of our first fish we ever got. Still going. Um, it's a guppy, it's a female guppy. Um, I just threw her in here. Uh, technically to test the parameter of the tank. We're not a big fan of hers, but I like her a lot, but, you know. So, hopefully she does some, some, uh, Show some tall tail signs of how this tank is doing. I have yet to get the water tested. I mean, it's only been up for. Got this filled up Monday. You could complete in it last night. Sand on Tuesday. Heater went in Wednesday, I think. Um, so, yeah, all good. We just got this strip so I have something to tell on this side of the tank when it's reading. But this is the corridor tank. Will be when it's fully cycled and ready to go. Um, as you can see, she seems to have taken a custom to the place. Uh, so that's good. But uh, yeah, so here's this as an update. I have yet to show any videos of this. We've been working on it. So we just got it planted some. We're going to plant it some more. We're going to get some uh, Java phone to ring that with. Uh, then we're going to get a carpeting plant. I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm going to get. A uh, grass-like one. Um, and, uh, yeah. Looks good, though. I like it. Looking good. And, of course, Squirts is doing amazing. Uh, my nitrate levels in the Koi tank currently that I have up, which apparently will change to be a quarantine tank, so to say, is, uh, doing alright. Everybody seems to be doing alright. Um, so, there's the lone Julie. He doesn't seem to have an issue. It's not much light over here. And the two baby guppies are still kicking it. For sure. So, uh, yeah. Everybody seems happy. I uh, just did a, probably about a 30 35% water change to try to get a hold of those nitrate levels some. Um, so there's that. And then we got the hospital tank with Taylor Daniel and the uh, Cobra Guppy in here. And then, yeah, everybody looks good. I wanted to show off the uh, 40 breeder we have. Looks really nice. Excuse the substrate mess. I have yet to really go in there and fix that. I'm going to let everything settle before I go back in and uh, 
kind of brush some of that back. But uh, the substrates are separated by a line of rocks you cannot see. Um, the substrate there is about two and a half inches deep. Yeah, something like that, two to three inches deep. Um, and there's rocks lining it that the complete covers, and that's where we're going to plant the Jabba phone is there on other little flat rocks that I have right over there. We're going to use for us a bunch of driftwood I have set aside for that. So yeah, we'll see how she does. I'll keep you updated in a few days. Uh, right now, she's getting accustomed to the place. We'll see what happens. All right. Well...